Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and uh, welcome all my new friends and subscribers out there. I have a vision I'd like to share with you today. Um, I spent a lot of time last night in prayer, uh, and the Lord gave me this vision. Uh, join me in Malachi. I'm going to be in Malachi chapter 4. I'm going to read the whole, um, the whole verse. <clears throat> title of the passage is called The Great Day of God. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble. <clears throat> and the day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that will leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go out and grow like stall-fed calves, and you shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. On the, the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts, Remember the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. So this is the vision. <clears throat> so I was in prayer, as I said. And um, then I started to see what looks like um, a meadow before me. I could see the, the um, green grass, and it, it kind of looked like I, had, I was walking along, and I was observing this uh, field, uh, possibly, I thought, maybe it looked like um, a farm that was not plowed yet. But I could see the green grass, uh, and there were a few tree, trees in the area, and they did have leaves on the trees, green leaves. <clears throat> so then off in the distance, I could see... Uh, what looks like, um, it looks like a, a plume of smoke. I wasn't really sure if it was kind of like um, when you see on the news when a tornado is touching down, you can see like the, the long cone. I couldn't tell what that was actually at first. So I said, where am I? And uh, my understanding was that I was in Iowa. Now, I have never been in Iowa, and I don't know anything about Iowa at all. Uh, so next I was above uh, the scene of the, um, the meadow and, and the grass. I was above it and I was looking down and I could see that um, on the land be below where I was looking, I could see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine uh, plumes of smoke coming up again. I couldn't tell at first if it was going down or if it was coming up. Um, so I, I looked at that, and I was shown the scene over again. I was shown the, the, the green meadow and the grass, and then again I was shown from the top view, looking down, these plumes of smoke. And I, I was thinking to myself, which I do this when I pray, what the heck is this? I, I, I wasn't understanding what these, what these several uh, plumes of smoke representative, and then I got the understanding of what it was. Uh, my understanding was that the plumes of smoke were from rockets, that were inside the ground uh, that were being launched. So apparently they had just been launched, these several rockets. So um, then again, I saw the, the vision for the third time. I saw the whole thing over again. So of course, like I said, not being, having any idea what goes on in Iowa, and I've never been there. When I got down this morning, I, I Googled it. And um, I put, uh, I Googled um, Iowa rocket rocket launchers or, or missile silos and it came right up and uh, apparently that in the past uh, there had been in-ground uh, rockets uh, launchers uh, I, I'm not really sure if it was a test area or, or what it was but the Lord showed me this vision and my question and I don't have the answer and you're welcome to put a comment on there is um, my question is is there another site there in that area that maybe we're not aware of and has never been disclosed by the government? Or is there, are they building another site around that area uh, possible for future, um, for future, uh, I, I want to say, uh, security purposes? You know, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, so again, thank you for tuning in to God's Hiller 7 channel. And uh, I always say at the end of my messages, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, I had the pleasure yesterday of um, spending the day, the morning, with my son Joseph. And um, if you're if you're new on here, he he ha he suffers from bipolar disorder, and he has his his good days and bad days like everybody. Um, but he told me yesterday when we were at lunch that he's planning on getting baptized in January, and I'll tell you what that just made my day. 
you know, again, I have a lot of family members that are not saved. And, um, you know, I, I don't try to force my opinion on anybody. They know where, where we stand, you know, with what we believe and so on. Uh, but it just, uh, I, I was just overjoyed to hear that from him. So again, I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. And God bless you all out there. Have a safe uh, holiday coming up. Be safe, and I keep you in prayer. And uh, tune in again. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>